from the word negotiation. Femalism is championed by Choma or Para. It is a view of African feminism which is a uh, softer tone than liberal feminism. Snell says feminism is a theory propounded by the, uh, Theodora Akachi Ezigo. It is equally, there is equally anarcha feminism and anti-authoritarian feminist force that interrogates capitalism and rises against oppression and oppressive philosophy. Vice Chancellor Sir, in spite of all these ideologies, in spite of all these isms, all these claims to fundamental rights of women in economic, social and uh, political activities of the country, all these demands for liberation and, or emancipation from patriarchal uh, structures by these voices of the voiceless, women writers and critics, women have continued to be their own undoing. Women see themselves existing as objects of pleasure for men because they submit themselves to indignity. In October 18, 2016, in uh, Delhi, in Delhi Sun, the good, uh, there is one, they said, night's life, you know, worry. The good, the bad, the ugly. Looking at the unfathomable picture, it became evident that prostitution has become a booming business. These scarlet ladies, the scarlet ladies converge in streets and wait for men who need their services. These commercial sex workers who are mostly students of tertiary institutions have their syndicates on cross-examinations. Most of the girls blame their misdemeanor on poverty and resorted to using what they have to get what they don't have. It's not just in Owerri, it is everywhere, in Abuja, in Lagos, other places. Woman trafficking, another form of prostitution, is another crime against humanity. What still, human trafficking has taken another pathetic dimension beyond prostitution and still spearheaded by women. Some women traffickers kidnap and aid and abate in the kidnap of young girls and boys. The young girls are raped and impregnated by men, arranged for that purpose. The girls are kept and when they give them back to babies, these women sell these babies for huge amount of money to prospective buyers. In a way again, there is Ezuma Women, Ezuma Women and Children's Rights Initiative. It is an NGO which was set up by a medical doctor. I will not go talking about this man, but then just suffice it to say that he has been arrested. This heinous crime is blamed on extreme poverty, but parents have a task. Parents have a task, a challenge of ensuring their children's holistic formation from childhood by inculcating in them sound moral, social, cultural, and religious values. This responsibility is shelved and the same helpless children are used as commodities for sale. The girls are sent into the streets to hop or beg. They are kidnapped, they are raped, they are sexually harassed, or even slaughtered by wicked men locking around for items of ritual sacrifice. Young girls who engage in sex hawking are fully supported by their mothers, especially where they generate money for the, for the family. Parental support is readily given when the illicit deal, the illegal business, is carried out at an international level with, with hard currency implication. Greed motivates women to indulge in human trafficking. Conception, childbearing, child nurturing, nurturing are processes set up by God to ensure the perpetration of human race on earth. But sexless, barbaric, obdurate women and young girls go through pregnancy and labor pains only to bring the babies into the world and kill them or wrap them up in polythene bags, drop them somewhere, then the temperature kills the babies or they put them in garbage bins. Newborn babies are bundles of joy and homes without them do not experience full happiness. Every day, Cases of abandoned babies litter the newspapers. Most of these, the, 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 each day, one had 
Sadly, misses the annoying sight of newly born baby wrapped in clothes, cellophane bags, or carefully kept inside cartons and dropped at strategic places within the state. Most of these angels do not survive the harsh weather and the die of As it is in these, some of these uh, states, it is in every other state. Women allow themselves to be treated as poor in offices, as political appointees, because men consider women as sex objects, and these victims present themselves as agents, male bosses in offices, male employers in companies, or private sectors subject them to sex objects without which the woman or the young girl should or will not have any promotions or will be victimized, denied promotion or even expelled from office. Secretaries in education sectors of many states demand canal knowledge of young girls, students and even teachers before they discharge their statutory duties. They equally extract money from these indigent victims. In higher institutions, some women enforce their, no, force their students to pay for services rendered, to pay for read, to pay them for reading their projects. If they don't pay, they have to help themselves out with the woman's whatever. <laughs> Patting a woman on the buttocks is seen in almost all offices. These they consider as unwelcome gestures to the dignity of womanhood. Shall we then borrow a leaf from the French women politicians who recently proclaimed that any touch on a woman's buttocks will be handled appropriately? <laughs> Poverty and recession are said to have overwhelmed women and the level of corruption has surged to a startling degree. Greed, covetousness, exploitation, insatiable appetites and prey for riches are factors propelling crimes against the dignity of womanhood. Baby factories, we have talked about baby factories, we must have to be very careful. Woman and cultism. We always talk of cultists in higher institutions, and we associate cultism with boys. Women and girls are the worst cultists, and any cult organized by women, any woman is deadly. In the same vein, female suicide bombers destroy without mercy the environment we are the target. Some female students on campuses in Nigerian universities who are looked on as future mothers struggle to subdue the culture of modesty, morality, and humanness. They enroll in different cult groups and make themselves enemies of light. Some of these girls, some of these groups include Daughters of Jezebel, Daughters of Doom, Comic Queens, Black Bra, Pink Ladies, Orange Girls, and Portage Portage girls, the ones I know. <laughs> to belong to these, to belong to these terrible groups, young girls go through unimaginable rituals such as having sex with at least 20 men. This is an initiation rite. The activities of these future mothers who live in a reserved style of life, who must live a reserved style of life. A young lady who should be solely concerned with how to study hard and be the best graduating student, succeed in life, make good wives, and help in the development of society that is God fearing, are thus reversed into miscreants and ignoble behavior. Their activities are deemed a threat to national security. They propagate discrimination, suppression oppression, marginalization, frustration of the frustrated and the down-spirited and, and constitute a right to the life of innocent citizens. We have always condemned sugar daddies in higher institutions or any institutions of learning and in the society. The demeaning attitude of these men are adjudged appalling, but what of sugar mummies? <laughs> Who have no shame, no dignity, some are so bare-faced that they face any panel without remorse. 
They make students pay for their marks, their scores, and they must get to pay to pass in tertiary institutions only when they must have obeyed them. Such women engage in sexual escapades as a way of proving that women can only exploit men sexually. That women can also exploit men sexually. Besides, people give at women who go about naked in the streets, in the churches, in schools, all in the name of fashion. Sexual libertinism is another vice that is this disrupting the entire the identity of women. Shockingly, women involve themselves in indiscriminate sexual advancements and relationships with boys and men. They pioneer this sexual harassment through the unsavory way in which they dress themselves. They invite men who rape them indiscriminately. Rape, as we know, is a social, is social evil men adopt in subjugating women and minors. But women dress in such a provocative way that even mad men desire them in market classes. <laughs> women criminals in prisons are reduced to a plaything by fellow inmates. They are raped and their dignity of womanhood annihilated and abused. We therefore call on all NGOs, all NGOs, women in the Senate, women in House of Reps, Women commissioners, women in women commission to take a look at this danger confronting women in the world today. Lesbianism, feminism, and the gay. Feminism was divided into the first and second wave feminism. But there is another wave of feminism which is a radical cut from feminism that fights for the rights of women. It is no longer the feminism that is fighting for human rights that are relevant to women and children's rights. The world has most recently been simultaneously threatened and intrigued by lesbianism and gay. There is an upsurge of homosexual practices and these are destroying nature. Lesbianism is an ongoing process of seeking intimacy personal value and happiness with another woman, a woman of the same gender, sex. Lesbians strive at discarding some of their feminine gender nurture, nature and adopting new ones that are rather absurd. Marriage is an institution recognized and respected throughout the world. It is a union of man and woman and involves two persons of opposite sex. Consequently, sex constitutes an essential determinant in marriage relationship and marriage relationship is deeply rooted in human nature. Marriage relationship is governed by natural law. Same sex marriage is an aberration of the marriage instituted by God which is geared towards procreation. Homosexual marriage is a mere personal gratification of two individuals whose union is still alive. It is, to say the least, an immoral sexual relationship and a sexual revolution which societies in the world are being asked to accept. Paul Vanel insisted that the gay movement, whether we acknowledge it or not, is not a civil rights movement, not even a, a sexual liberation movement, but a movement, a moral revolution aimed at changing people's view of homosexuality. It is a crime against humanity. Femalism. When we say that feminism is a view of African feminism which negates the gendered subjectivity viewed as culturally and socially constructed, we are pointing at something that is, hinge, uh, that is uh, hinged on the world, Mother Earth. There's an affinity between the peculiar African woman African woman question and the beleaguered African condition. The female nurturing body is considered to be analogous to Mother Africa, an embodiment of Mother Nature, Vice Chancellor. Sir. If the female nurturing body is considered to be analogous to Mother, uh, Mother Africa, an embodiment of Mother Nature, if lesbians 
gay and other enemies of nature deny themselves of children of their own and decide to opt or form their own children, what will, what will happen to the childhood attachment, which is basic necessity in the development of such children? A person to whom an infant becomes emotionally attached is termed the target of attachment. A father is a target of attachment, a mother is a ta target of attachment. Targets of attachment are usually those persons who respond most, cons uh, most constituently, predictably, and appropriately to the infants, to the infant signal. And this is primarily the mother, but also the father, eventually others. Can a woman who has not had a baby have that love, that attachment to a baby that is not her own? Or can a, mo a man who has turned to be a woman decide to breastfeed a baby and some in place? Vice Chancellor, sir, I'm here today to introduce one ideology in the world as a negation to the above ideologies. Sir, there is lesbianism, there is gay. These homosexual activities run contrary to nature. Thus, contemporary, uh, thus, contrary to feminism as defined above. Let us welcome the new ideology propounded by Justin and Neko Koye, the first ever in the world, the first ever in Nanda's community. This ideology made open today, presented to the world today, is legal feminism. This word denotes lesbianism, gay, and feminism. Feminism, feminism, womanism, stewardism, motherism, negro feminism, all rejects the claims, beliefs, and aspirations of homosexuality, which includes lesbianism and gay marriage. Legal feminism denotes three ideologies, lesbianism, gay, and feminism. Legal feminism is a theory, it is an ideology set aside to and he elects the idea of these people called <laughs> homosexuals. It is a great philosopher Aristotle who held that man is a rational being. But when a man loses his rationality, he becomes irrational. So, if homosexuals lose their rationality, they become irrational. We have heard of queer theory coined by an Italian feminist and film theorist. Queer theory is a field of post-structuralist critical theory that emerged in the 1990s. Even, queer, even the queer theory builds both on, upon feminist challenges to the idea that gender is even part of the essential self and upon gay, lesbian studies close examination of the socially constructed nature of uh, sexual acts and identities. Thus, even queer theory negates, uh, queer, uh, what is his name? Um, the gay and the lesbian. However, gay and lesbian studies focus strictly on how and why of natural and unnatural behavior related to homosexual behavior. Queer theory has clearly painted the correct image of gay and lesbian. And it insists that those acts are queer. Their acts are queer. They are odd in their way, in the way they comport themselves, in the way they think, with the normal, legitimate, and dominant acts inherent in the world of sane and rational beings. Any marriage between same sexes is called same-sex marriage, which is an aberration. It, uh, is an aberration of the known marriage which has its origin in creation. Homosexuality and same-sex marriage are attempts to redefine marriage. Human relations, including positive aspects of gender roles, all these are all these are items negated by uh, the homosexuals, which we are negating now. Homosexuals argue 
that if marriage is all about reproduction, then infertile couples will be divorced. It's not true. Or not, or not be allowed to marry. But then, when CCDN says, the movement of polygamy warns that the movement of polygamy and polyamory is poised to use the successes of same-sex couples as a springboard to further deinstitutionalize marriage. Feminism is a contraindication, contradiction of the homosexuality which realizes the marriage institution. Vice Chancellor, sir, let me end this lecture with a Bible citation to buttress my claim. Leviticus chapter 18, verses 22 to 23 and 25. No man is to have sexual relations with another man. God hates that. No man or even woman is to have sexual relationships with another animal. That perversion makes you ritually unclean. Their actions make the land unclean. And so the Lord is punishing the land and making it reject the people who live there. Citation goes. Conclusion. Vice Chancellor, sir, we have succinctly traced the existence of women in African patriarchal society. Their relationship with culture, their gender roles, their participa participation in the political development of the country, and the marginalization and suppression of the female world in African literature. We have successfully traced the oppressive condition in which women are involved and the violence they inflict on themselves. We have analyzed the feminist groups who have risen to recapture the woman identity and liberate womanhood from the clutches of patriarchy. Women and, and children are the most vulnerable entities in the world where children's rights are no longer considered as human rights. Child abuse has need, therefore been a trade, but above all, the most agonizing antisocial acts, lesbianism and gay, offshoot of homosexuality, are confirmed as terrible adorations to the natural existence of marriage and procreation. We have summed up our warning with a biblical injunction to draw, to drive home this dastardly effect lesbianism and gay will have on earth if allowed to prosper. Thank you. Guys, very distinguished guest who came in, Dr. Nalumad, permanent secretary of the Ministry of Youth Entrepreneurship and Sports Development, Mr. Linus, my best to come and continue the direction of this event. Professor Emedu. Thank you very much. The distinguished um, inaugural lecturer has emphasized the need for us to look at our society and have a change of heart. At a point, it appeared like Professor Justina Nega Okoye, distinguished audience. Today, we've learned a lot about the Zims. All the Zims. And I predicted rightly that she was going to speak in tongues at the stage, and she did. Today, she has really taken her jelly to town. Today, you can see the strength in learning, in knowledge acquisition. And she's bequeathing this to humanity. Our students are here. Some of them already mentoring other people. The young people are here. The elders are everybody here. As part of our university culture and ritual, we are going to decorate her as our teacher, professor, that has professed very well, and her now will be written and fully documented in the annals of Nanda Zikiwe University. As the practices in our lecturer of this great university. When I made my opening remarks, I 
I want to personally appreciate the presence of uh, two very important academics that are here. Professor Mabel Waka. And Professor Isi Oyeka, Isi Miliano. Isi Mili, Isi Mili, Isi Mili, and the author of the Isi Miles. So on behalf of all of us, for giving us this woman, this mother, this teacher, this mentor, that is really giving freely as she has given to us today. The gifts given to her by God, enriching us, giving us the hope that even our society will get better. With the knowledge we've acquired today, and for all, all of us, we want to congratulate her and decorate her as the 36th inaugural lecturer of Unanda Zikiwe University. Today, the fourth day of the month of May 2017.